is coming out. Right? All the rape, robbery, murder they did in the earth, man. You thought just because now you can go get an apartment, you can go apply for a job now, you can sit in the cubicle next to him, right? You thought that he, he, everything was okay now. No, the Lord, race wars is prophesied in the Bible in the last days. Because he's known as a serpent, a snake in the grass. You might not see the snake. He kind of come out of nowhere, right? A snake is real subtle and smart in his wickedness, uh. right? Go ahead. That's the so-called white man. The right. Lord said he's going to bring his wickedness out of him eventually. Huh? Uh. So it's coming out. Huh? Read. Though he humble himself. Though he humble himself. He go oh. crouch. Hey, I thought they adopt little black kids. Mm -hmm. right. And do God knows what to him. Yeah, yeah. we don't know what they're doing to him. How they rubbing them down. Turn them back. Yeah, like what's that? What's the, the um, actor name? Jolie. Angelina, Angelina Jolie. Angelina Jolie, yeah. <laughs> bunch of Levites. She bought a, a bunch of Levites. Yeah, yeah. man. Yeah, he a girl, boy, girl. Right? Go ahead. Though he humble himself and go crouch, right? yet take good heed and beware of him. Right? And thou shalt be unto him as if thou hast wiped a looking glass. Yeah, we take heed of this man. We follow the, we follow the Bible, right? We know this man. Huh. We know the characteristics of this man. We know the prophecy, what the Lord said about this man. White people, man. All right, the devil the Bible speak of. Hey, 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 hey. Go ahead. Though he humble himself. Yeah, yeah, roll that one. And go crouch. <laughs> and what? They go crouch. And he humble himself and go crouch and read. Yeah, take good heed. Hey, watch him, man. If the Native, if you could go back and tell the Native American Indians, if they would have knew about the so-called white people coming in, they would have said, put them to death. Come on. Right, where are this land? Where are they at? All you see is Moabite. What is the Moabite going on? Oklahoma, yeah, Texas, why is he not in China? Denver, right? California, New Mexico. Go ahead. And thou shalt be unto him as thou hast wiped thy looking glass, and thou shalt know that his breasts have not been altogether wiped away. But unfortunately, a lot of our people are not going to realize this is a race war. Right? So the race wars come, and that your, your Edomite best friend that you've been knowing since a kid, right? And they say, but he down grabbing you up, man, right? And take you into a dark road, man. Right? You gonna find out, yeah, man. Right? 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 Book of Proverbs, chapter 11, verse 21. Bring it up. Throw hand joint in hand. Yeah, the Lord said, throw hand joint in hand. Everybody want to be one piece. You got the black man want to have baby with the white woman. You got the black woman want to get with the white man. Right? Because she hate her own people. Yeah. Hey, the Lord said, throw hand joint in hand. Go there. The wicked shall not be unpunished. It's not going to change the prophecy. All right? Because we just read about the separation. The Lord is coming back to separate the sheep from the goat. He'll put the sheep on his right hand side and the goat on the left side. Right? Go ahead. But the seed 
of the righteous shall be delivered. And the seed of the righteous is the Israelites. They're going to be delivered. Out of what? That captivity. Right? Give me, give me, um, get, get that first. Give me wisdom of Solomon. Talk to you. Kind of book of wisdom of Solomon. Chapter 12 and verse 10. But executing thy judgments upon them by little and little. Right? So the, so, so the Lord judged us. He put us in captivity after captivity after captivity. But the so-called white man, he judged them. Right? Go ahead. Thou givest them place of repentance. Uh-huh. Go ahead. Not being ignorant. That so the Lord said he'd give them place of repentance, but not I being wish. ignorant. Not really. Right? They really can't repent. Uh -huh. He's going to tell you why. Go ahead. Thou givest them a place of repentance, not being ignorant that they were a naughty generation. It was a naughty people, a naughty generation. This is the creator. It was a naughty generation, right? Meaning what? If they was going to repeat you how to tell, you know what they could have did? They could have, after we came to captivity, right? They could have just, you know what I mean? Made us work. You know what I'm saying? They didn't have to start raping us. They didn't have to hang us on trees. They didn't have to cut our women's stomach open, take the baby out, and feed them the alligator. They didn't have to do all that. Right? They could have said, you know what? These guys did. They didn't have to tell us that we was black. They didn't have to say that they was the Jews. They could have said, y'all guys keep y'all the real Israelites. Y'all got to keep the commandments. We're going to let y'all build a temple. We're going to let y'all go serve y'all God. All right? We're going to let y'all keep y'all laws. They could have did that, man. They didn't do that, though. Son. Right? The Lord said because he wasn't ignorant that they was a naughty generation. Meaning Still they weren't going to really pick. They were going to take advantage of the children of Israel and further their own nah, huh? nah, 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 Go ahead. I spoke to him one time before. Son. And that their malice was bred yeah, in them. Wait a minute. The Lord said their malice was bred in them. Huh. Right? It's just in them. You try, trying to figure out why they don't like them. Man. <laughs> you think it's because of the color of your skin? It's not the color of your skin. It's wicked. It's in them. They was made. They wish they had your skin. Right? Go ahead. Huh. Um. And that their cognates. Cogitation would never be changed. And their cogitation would never be changed. We just read that. They have no change. They can't change, right? Right? Don't care if it's 20 generations. They're not going to change, right? We read about, we read in First Micah, right? About the, uh, the, the Edomites, right? Go ahead. And they was licking their chops when we was in, under the Persian, right? Right? When we was under the Persian and me captivity. Esau was licking his chops to get his chance, right? Who is in Babylon captivity? He couldn't wait, right? Go ahead. For it was a cursed seed. It was what? It was, it was a, a cursed, cursed seed. seed. No, just a cursed one Esau. It, it was, was a, a cursed, cursed seed. seed. The Lord said that whole seed line, uh. the whole nation of people, right, is cursed. Go ahead. From the beginning. From what? From, From the, the beginning. beginning. From the beginning, right? Go ahead. Neither didst thou, for fear of any man, give them. Pardon. Do what? Give them pardon. Do what? Give, Give them, them pardon. pardon. The Lord, that, the, he's not giving them pardon. Come. Give me Nahum 1 and 2 real quick. I mean, it's not going to be a pardon for the so-called white man. Right. Look, the white man can't come say, well, I'm sorry for what we did to y'all. Because he can't do that. Son. Ah. It's not in him to do that. We're the ones always apologizing. Son. Police come kill your son. Murder him, you apologize. And, well, we forgive. We just, it's all right. We <laughs> love him. We forgive him. Ridiculous. Right? Bring that up. This is Nehemiah 1 and 2. Nahum. 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 Oh, okay. Somebody give me Nahum. Nahum 1 and 2. Mm -hmm. Nahum 1 and 2. The book of Nahum, chapter 1 and verse 2. Bring it out. out. God is jealous. Right? And the Most High God is a jealous God. Right? Go ahead. And the Lord revenges. He do what? And, and the, the Lord, Lord revenges. revenges. Sweep everything under the rug. The, the Lord, Lord revenges. The Lord is about revenge. He's huh. a man of war. Go ahead. The Lord revenges and is furious. Uh huh. The Lord will take vengeance on his adversaries. He's going to take vengeance on his adversaries. We've been talking about that all day. Huh. That's separation. The children of Israel and their enemies. Right? Go ahead. And he reserved wrath. For his enemies. Uh huh. So the Lord has wrath reserved for the so-called white race. That's right. 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 The biblical, the Edomites. Come. The children of Esau. That's right. Because they, nobody's paid for slavery. Come. Go ahead. The Lord is slow to anger. And he's slow to anger, read. And great in power. And he's great in power, read. And will not at all acquit, acquit the, the wicked. Wait a minute. So this is not going to be an acquittal. 
Come. That's no party for them. The Lord said he's not at all going to acquit the it's wicked. Right and here. we know who the wicked is. Right? Come. Come. Go ahead. The Lord had his way in the whirlwind uh -huh. and in the storm. And the clouds are the dust of his feet. That man, when the chariots come into this atmosphere, right? Uh, uh, right? Uh, it's the so-called white man military think them damn UFOs, yeah, man. Space uh, force. I don't know what it is, man. <laughs> Those are the chariots, man. That's right. right. Those are the vehicles of the angels visiting the earth, man. Right? Uh, right? And soon they're going to invade, man. Right? Uh, uh, right? All right. Now we deserve it. We know that. Yeah, you know. Uh, I came from Minnesota. Uh, the book of Ecclesiastes 7 and 13. That should never happen in any state, in any country, in any planet. What should never happen? What happens? What happens day in and day out? What happens should not happen, and that is injustice. That is unrighteousness. It should not happen in any way. I will give myself to this cause. You want to throw someone under the bus and take a claim? What, what's, your, what's your fault? What's your ethnicity? And my ethnicity? German, Norwegian, Irish, Swedish, French, American Indian. We've all been enslaved. But you guys should not serve the wrath of what is happening. No, we all haven't been enslaved, but you'll be an Edomite, huh. according to the Bible. I don't care what I am. I just know that I don't deserve. Yeah. I've had no words. No words in my soul can show you how much I care. Wait a minute. You're a white woman in America. You care, what do you care I'm about? I'm a white woman in America who thinks men need to rise up. I am sick of the page. I'm sick of this whole down with the patriarchy. I'm an anti-feminist. I am an anti-everything that is wrong with this country. Uh, all right. Don't, I, I'm don't record me. I'm with you. What I'm saying is... <laughs> no, don't, that doesn't go on social media. I'm saying, okay. Don't well, hang me for gotcha, that. Gotcha, gotcha, you, gotcha, you, right. No, men need to be empowered in our society. Do you care about period. this? Of course I do. But do you care about this, though? Is this wrong? Of course it's wrong. Already. Hold on. Of course it's wrong. Who this did should this? never what, happen. Is these your forefathers? No, God, mine were in Germany oh, killing hold on. other white people. Hold on. Oh. We, was in, we was in captivity in Germany. Done. The slave ship didn't just come to America. I'm not oh. saying this is right. This is wrong. I'm not saying you said that, but I'm saying these are your forefathers, right? I can't, if, if you want me to take credit for that sin, I will take credit for it right now. Are you now. sorry for what your forefathers did? Of course did. I am. Of give me, course give me, I am. Give me Isaiah 16 and 14. We're gonna find out if you're sorry. Of course I'm sorry. Give me Isaiah 16 and 14. If I let him fire, I'm sorry. Give me Isaiah 16 and 14. This is Isaiah chapter 60, verse 14. Yeah. And it reads, Thy sons also of them that afflict thee. The sons and daughters of them that afflicted us, uh -huh. meaning the white slave masters afflicted us, read, shall come bending unto thee. And the Lord said, In that day when they sorry, the children of the slave master will come and they're going to bow down to us. What did they just do? Go ahead. Yeah. Not my family. Go ahead. Yes, they did. They're the Germans, queens. The Germans are not exempt. Not uh -huh. Go ahead. They're queens. Thy mercy mothers. Right. They shall bow down to thee. They shall what? They, they shall, shall bow down, down to thee. thee. They shall bow down, read. With their face they, toward with the, the earth. With they what? With, with their, their face toward the earth. With their face toward the earth, read. And lick up the dust of thy feet. They shall what? And lick up the dust of thy feet. And do what? And lick up the dust. Turn it, turn it, turn it. She's not sorry. She's not sorry. She don't want to be on camera. I just don't want to be on camera. The Lord said, when you're sorry, you're going to bow down and look at my feet. Not on camera. Not on camera. Not on camera. These cameras is for our protection and for edification. That's it. So we don't care about that. Okay, you don't care about that. We don't care about that. My forefathers was raped, robbed, and murdered before the world on live TV. They make movies about slavery. They put it on the big screen for millions of people to see it. We don't give a damn about your career. We don't care about that. All right? So we don't want no fake apology. Well, we'll keep you didn't have to stop. You didn't have to stop, though. All right, so go enjoy America. Go enjoy your rich, lavish America. How do you know? All right? We out here. We out here to prophesy death and destruction on all white people. That's right, right. Give me Jeremiah 30 and 16. Give me Jeremiah. Nope, we're not doing that. No, nope. what are you going to do with that? Nope, we're not like y'all. That's what y'all do. Revelation. Y'all put bullets in our hands. I never huh. touch the third thing. I'm not going to touch If any man have an ear, let him hear. Bring it out.
white woman. Come. Yeah. They don't care wow. about your reputation. The Lord don't care about that. That's right? right. Right? So at the end of the day, if you were sorry, you wouldn't care about the camera. You would bow down no. for the service of the living God. That's right. right. Don't and do a lot. that boost, man. No. Don't you worry about the camera, I'd man. Rather you know what? You succeed. You can't oh, you can can help you. There's nothing you can do to help you. Yes, man. I can. You're Every a slave. Day. You a slave. Come. Okay. You a future slave to black people. Awesome. Thank right? you. So there's then nothing I'll be you can do to help you. Let me start helping you now. Hey, you hey that sounds like a good idea. For real. But ain't no cash in your bank. Give me the book of uh, I tried. I fucking tried. I chapter uh, 14 and 21. Right? I this is the book of our state. You can't give us a Maserati, man. I'm trying to afford it. I'll give you my Maserati. <laughs> and then report it stolen. Yeah. Uh-huh. Watch out, y'all. Yeah, report it stolen. Hey, she might, hey, she might run up into a damn tree, man. Shot. Some camera shot. <laughs> yeah, that that's it over there. Why do you do it? Why do you take the cameras off right here? That's why. Right. Yeah, exactly. Why you take the cameras off right here? Yeah. Somebody, somebody, I'm a public figure. Hey, the Lord, the camera. Right? Man. You already on camera. Yeah, we got it good, too. We got it good. We got it good. Yeah, you already on your knees. See, you can get on the camera. Yeah. You see how sick it is? She got down there quick. She got on that cook. She, hey, she was, hey, hey, them knees, like, she, hey, man, she used to be on them knees, boy. No bad and no nothing. I was like, damn, your no, shit don't hurt. No folly. Yeah, for real, man. <laughs> all right, all right, let's get back to this. What was that? I was making a point. Esau <laughs> came bending the knee. You ready? What's the song of the 12 already? Give me out of the 13. Ready. Yeah, the 13, verse 1. That's, 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 that's how you get caught up. Then we eat them ice like that. Right? Act like they all so. You know what I'm saying? She's mad and she's frustrated. She can't believe it. And this shit didn't work. She's like, it's some different type of music. Yeah. Exactly. So I want a man to step up. I don't want to hear that. She thought that <laughs> she was exactly. black. She want to hear. Huh? Exactly. She's trying to say everything she thought she think a nigga want to hear. Three times. Thirteen and all. Uh, Who's thirteen? Isaiah 13, verse 13. Read it up. Therefore, I will shake the heavens. Uh-huh. And the earth shall remove out of her place. Right. And the wrath of the Lord of hosts in the day of his fierce anger. Uh-huh. And it shall be as the chase broke. What the Lord say? And, and it shall, shall be, be as, as the chase broke. This is what we focused on, man. Our mind is not on this wicked place, this wicked world, man. We separated from our enemies, man. Right. We're waiting on the wrath of the Lord. The Lord said he's going to shake the earth, man. That's right. And it's going to be like chase road, man. Come Go ahead. And as a sheep, they have no man taken up. Uh huh. They shall every man turn to his own people. Well, this is what the world don't understand. This is what we know. Come. Everybody at some point is going to go to their own people. That's right. Everybody's going to realize what time it is, right? Right? Cool, go ahead. And flee every one to his own land. Right? And you're going to have Jake right behind Cleveland. Oh, that's cool, go ahead. Every one. That is found. Everyone that is found. Everybody that don't. All right. Separate. Go ahead. Shall we thrust through? You're going to die. You're going to die. Free. And everyone that is joined unto them. Everybody that want to join themselves to these other nations. Go ahead. Shall fall by the sword. Shall what? Shall fall by the sword. The Lord said you're going to die. You're going to fall by the sword. 
Go ahead. Their children also crown, shall be dead to peace. What the Lord say? Their children also shall be dashed to peace. The Lord said their children also shall be dashed to pieces, man. Right? Because uh. all hell is going to be breaking loose, man, in the last days, man. Right? Jump up to verse, where you at? Jump up to verse uh, 19. Verse right, 19. 19. And Babylon, the great, the glory of kingdom, uh -huh. the beauty of the Chaldees, yes. excellency, shall be as when God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. And the Lord said America's going to be like Sodom and Gomorrah. Huh. Right? What did the Lord do? Right? The Lord told Lot, he said, get up out of there. Right? That's what he's telling us in the last day. I'm about to destroy Babylon. Right? Come out of her, my people. Right? Get your mind out of this place, right? Stop following these people, right? Because I'm coming to destroy it, right? So, and we know what the Lord did for Sodom and Gomorrah. Right? And America literally is. And I, and I, when I was reading for you earlier, man, I kind of, I kind of came across some. I kind of like this. Is a real quick little side note. This made me think about it. In Revelation 11 and 8. No, 11 and 8. And it said, "Their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city." which is spiritually called Sodom. So this is spiritual Sodom in Egypt. Mm -hmm. Meaning what? This place is legalized homosexuality. They push it on kids. They promote it in the schools now. Uh, right? Uh, and it's Egypt because of slavery. But here's the part I was talking about. We all know that. Where also our Lord was crucified. What was the Lord crucified in Egypt? Uh, uh, what was the Lord crucified in Sodom? Uh, uh, what was the Lord crucified? In, America, in Jerusalem. <laughs> so what did the Lord say? What does Sodom and Egypt symbolize? No, no, our captivity. captivity. Oh, yeah. We was in captivity under the Romans during that time. They was free. So, he, yeah, he was in Sodom and Egypt, right? Uh -huh. Right? I just uh -huh. I thought about that, man. That just goes to show you, right? All right, that America is talking about America. That's right. Why? Because that's where the Israelites are. Right. Right? We know it's not physical Sodom and Egypt. Rome wasn't right. Sodom and Egypt. And Jer uh, Jerusalem never been to uh, Sodom and Egypt. Right? All right, but it is. All right, so keep going on that. Verse 20. It shall never be inhabited. And shall what? It shall never be inhabited. Hey, we always close on that structure, man. Right? America's going to be thrown down, man. And shall be down no more at all, man. It's the same thing. Mystery Babylon. It's the same little whore, man. That's how we know it's talking about America. Go ahead. Neither shall it be. Neither shall it be to wealth. And from generation to generation. But our people want to stay here. <laughs> but our people trying to make a home here. Our people want to pray for this place to continue. Uh -huh. Right? Uh -huh. When the Lord said he has in his mind, in his heart, to destroy this place and wipe it off the earth. That's right! Go ahead. Neither shall the Arabian pitch ticks there. Jump down to verse, uh, jump up to, uh... Where you from? Where you from? Oh, Venezuela. Yeah. Okay, King. Okay. You're an Israelite. Verse, this is Isaiah 13, verse 6. Uh -huh. How ye, for the day of the Lord is at hand. Right. It shall come as a destruction. It shall what? It shall come as a destruction. It's going to come peaceful. It shall come as a destruction. Go ahead. From the almighty Yahweh. Right. Therefore, shall all hands be faint, and every man's heart shall melt. Uh-huh. And they shall be afraid. Yeah, they shall what? And, and they, they shall be afraid. They're gonna be happy. And, and they, they shall, shall be afraid. afraid. So the Lord coming back, sweet Jesus coming back to make people afraid. <laughs> well, right? uh, you believe in the Bible? You believe in the Bible? Sometimes. <laughs> what do you mean? So you double mind. No. <laughs> no. I am gonna say Yeah, but you your words. I uh, am yeah. interesting and know what you about you're talking about. We, we prophesied against America. Oh, okay. And we're prophesying that America is going to be destroyed. All right? In World War III. And the children of Israel are going to be saved. All right? The captives. The so called blacks, so called blacks, Latinos, Native Americans, Seminole Indians of indigenous descent are God's people. And the Lord is coming to make war with the nation that enslaved them. This is the time to live in it. This is prophecy. Huh. How do we know that? Because it was foretold in the Bible. All right? So what we are here to do, you said you're Venezuelan? Yeah. Well, 
What, what about your, what's your father? I was born in Venezuela, however, I have been living in uh, of Spain? a lot of places. Yeah, of Spain. Spain? Yeah. Your father go back to Spain, right? Yeah. All right, so the Spaniards enslaved the Israelites. Ah. Did you know that? But uh, I am not <laughs> sure of the idea of my father. Well, you are with your father. Right? The man carries the seed, right? Yeah. The man has sperm. So the man plants the seed, right? Into the woman. That woman brings forth the seed of what? Of who? The man. All right? So you are with your father. Huh? But I have a different mind of my father. I have a That's, my well, we mind. We understand that. We understand that. You know, you might not be have the same mind as your father, but that doesn't change who you are. Why? I don't have the same mind as my father, but we, I am my father. Huh? Right? I still come. It don't change the genetics and the DNA. In the bloodline, because you think you're... Oh, yeah, sir, but that is not a, 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 a really condition to use my mind. The important thing is that the all people in the world is the mind. It's the brain. It's your idea. You know? So, what do you say? What do you mean? I, I get that. I, I can dig that. Right? The way you think. You know what I mean? But what's your point on that? We're talking about profit. Right? I'm going to show you something about your thought process and what you think and how that has nothing to do with the most high. Isaiah, chapter 55, verse 8. No. For my thoughts are not your thoughts. What the Lord say? For, For my, my thoughts, thoughts are, are not, not your thoughts. thoughts. The Lord's thoughts are not your thoughts or your father's thoughts or my thoughts. Right. Neither are your ways my ways. Neither are your ways his ways. Says the Lord. Yeah, she said, yeah, she's trying to, 
Let's try to see. Let's so, try to see. Give me Lamentation 417. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. Lamentation 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4,
Like the Lord, as we doing our job, right. we prophesying against the, we telling the so-called white man he's going into slavery. That's right. That's right. And he's Get the devil Bible speak of. Right. That's right. right. Letting them know America's going to be destroyed. Hey, the Lord is moving. Huh. The Lord already got Russia invading Ukraine. That's right. Right? right. That's the that's the beginning state. He's setting the stage for World War III. Right. Which is prophesied in the Bible. Give me Revelation 11 and 14 real quick. Right. Hey, we waiting on World War III. Everybody else praying that they don't want it. That America's afraid. She's afraid because she knows Russia got some stuff she can't deal with. Uh -huh. Russia has a missile that she can't detect. Uh -huh. And it's pointed towards America. Right? Because America's prophesied to destroy America. I mean, Russia is prophesied, prophesied uh -huh. to destroy America. Right. So read that. The book of Revelation 11 and 14. Bring it out. The second world is past. And that second world is World War II. World War I is in the Bible. Uh -huh. World War II is prophesied. World War I already happened. World War II happened. Right? Read. And behold, the third world. The third world's war. Read. Coming quickly. It's right around the corner. It's coming quickly. But the angel is holding back the four winds. The reason why these things haven't happened yet, because our people haven't been sealed yet. The Lord has an elect men, number of men, that he's waiting to wake up and return unto him. And if it be the Lord's will, you're one of those brothers we waiting on. Huh. That's why we the servants of the Lord and we the fishermen. We come out here and fish for the sheep, man. One brother at a time. See all these brothers out here, man. One brother at a time is coming back to the Lord, man. Huh? Read. Revelation 7. Pick up what you was there. Revelation 7. And verse uh, 7 again. And after these things, I sell for... 7 what? The Lord. I think it said 7. Go ahead. And after these things... I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind shall not blow on the earth. So the destruction can't blow on the earth yet. Go ahead. Nah. Nor on the sea. Uh-huh. Nor on the sea, the nation tree. Nor on any tree. Uh-huh. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living God. And there's another angel that got the seal of the living God. So you got one angel holding back the destruction. They just waiting on a decree from the Lord. And you got another angel sealing the elect. Right? Go ahead. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, hurt not the earth, uh -huh. neither the sea, Read. nor the tree, till we have sealed the servants of our God in their foreheads. Till we have sealed the servants of the living God in their minds with this truth, with this understanding. Because the children of God was destroyed for lack of knowledge. Now the Lord is bringing us back to who we are. Now we know we the princes and priests. All right, we're not niggas and rappers and coons, right? And gangbangers and thugs, right? right? And nobody. All right, we kings and priests in the earth, right? right. Go ahead. Verse 4. Uh -huh. And I heard the number of them which were sealed. And there were sealed in hundred and forty-four. 140 and 4,000. So there's an army. The Lord has an army. Yeah, Russia got a military. Uh, America got a military. Uh, Poland got a military. Uh, France got a military. Uh, China got a military. Everybody got a military. Uh, Where's our military? Right. The angels. Niggas fighting in the niggas fighting in the war for the people that destroyed that hate them. Ooh. Right? And Jake be happy too. Yep. Jake be taking Man. pictures with the flag. Patriotic. That flag is bloody as hell. Huh? Maybe you don't. I don't know. I'm 
ask you want to go to war and get vengeance on your enemies? Yeah. Give me, give me Ezekiel 25 and 14. Hey, the brother said, yeah, man. Uh, yeah, man, I want to, I want to do, I want to, hey, man. Why not? All this stuff that happened to our people, man, they, they wage war against the most time, huh? All right? So the elect, these men want to go to war. Uh, these uh, men are patiently waiting on this, man. Classic. Go ahead. Hey, brothers, meditate on this. Man. After this, I beheld. Go ahead. And lo, a great multitude, which no man could number. Uh-huh. So you got the elect, 144,000, and you got a great multitude, huh. which no man can know. Because everybody's not under the elect. Not I'll be happy just to be in a great multitude. Huh. Right? That be saved, right? Huh. But the Lord said many are chosen, but few shall be saved, right? Right? Only a one third of our people is going to be saved, right? So that's also a great multitude. Go ahead. Of all nations. Uh -huh. And kindreds uh -huh. and people Read. and tongues uh -huh. stood before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes. See that, man? These are the people that's going to be saved, man. All the Israelites that scattered in all these different nations, speaking different languages, man. Right? right? On the islands. The Lord's going to bring them together and save them, but he has an elect. All right? So bring this up. Huh? The book of Ezekiel, chapter 25 and verse 14. Bring it up. It say, and I will lay my vengeance upon Edom. You know who Edom is? You know who Edom yeah. is in the Bible? Yeah, the so-called white man. God. The Lord said he's going to lay his vengeance upon Edom, upon the so-called white people. Go ahead. By the hands. By what? By, by the, the hands. hands. By the hands, read. Of my people. Read. Israel. Who? Israel. Israel. So the Lord is going to use the Israelites. Huh. All right. Going to destroy the nation. That's right. Why? Because the Lord is just. They did it to us. He's going to let us get our lips back. Huh. Talk to people that look like y'all. For the Lord take a pleasure in his people. The Lord take pleasure in his people. Uh -huh. yeah. He will beautify the meek. And the Lord said he's going to beautify us. Read. With salvation. With what? With, with salvation. salvation. With salvation. Read. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Right. Let them sing aloud upon their bed. Read. Let the high praises of God be in their mouth. And a two-edged sword. And what? And a two-edged sword. And a two-edged sword. And a two-edged sword. What is what is going to do with that? Why is the Lord giving? Why is the Lord giving the elect a two-edged sword? Don't the military? Don't, don't when you join the military, they give you an AK-47, right? They give you different way. They tell you how to use it, right? Give me Psalm 144 and one, right? Why is the Lord giving us? If it's all love and peace, why is He giving us a two-edged sword? Why I gotta have two edges? He could have just gave us a regular sword. He gave us a two-edged sword, right? We do You know why? You don't know why, so read on. In their head, verse 7, this is the point, to execute vengeance. To do what? To execute vengeance. The Lord just said he's going to lay vengeance upon Edom by the hand of 
Alright. He's gonna give you a sword to execute vengeance. Payback. Read. Upon the heathen. A what? Upon, Upon the, the heathen. Upon the other nations, because every nation has had us in captivity. Uh. Right? Go ahead. Not just America, all these nations. Uh. Go ahead. And punishment. And uh, what? And, and punishment. And what? And, and punishment. Punishment. Right? Like this was a punishment. This young boy being burnt alive while all these Edomites sat back and watched. That was a punishment on him. Right. So guess what? We're gonna punish them back. Upon right. the people. A what? Upon, Upon the people. Upon the people. Go ahead. To bind their kings with chains. To do what? To, to bind, bind their, their kings, kings with chains. We're gonna take their kings and bind them with chains. Hey, brother. To, to bind their kings with chains. Go ahead. And their nobles with fetters of iron. Like Putin. Right, Biden, all these elite men that's going to the has that has the means to create underground bunkers. When they push the button and destroy the earth, they're gonna run and hide in these bunkers, right? Huh. Right? And and they think when they come out of the bunkers, they're gonna just kind of rebuild again. And then start their new world order. But that's not what's gonna happen. Give me your Right? Read that. The book of Psalms 144 from the top. Read. Blessed is the Lord. My strength, uh -huh. which teaches my hands to war. So that which what? Which teaches my oh, hands to war. No, he saw put you in his military and teach you how to teach you war tactics, you train you. I don't want uh -huh. to say he teaches us to war. Uh -huh. Go ahead. And my fingers to fight. And what? And my, my fingers, fingers to fight. fight. And we're going to be, hey, man, we're going to be the mightiest military you ever seen, man. And it's only going to be 144000 Plus, we got the host of heaven, the angels. The and Yahweh Shadow. Right? Uh -huh. All right, read that. Don't worry about that. Bro. Yeah, 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 bring that up. Uh -huh. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 51 and 20. Bring it out. Thou art my battle axis. Hold on. Hey. What? Thou art my battle axis. The Lord said we are his battle axis. Huh? Read. And weapons of war. Yeah, the so called white man, he got nuclear missiles. Right? He got all types of weapons. But the Lord said, we are his battle axes. Right? And his weapons of war. The Lord going to use you, right? If you change your ways and repent. Go ahead. For with thee, I will break in pieces the nations. I will what? I will break in pieces the nations. I will what? I will break in pieces the nations. The Lord said, we're going to break in pieces the nations. That's right. Right? And that day, man, this is not going to happen. Right? Right. Easy money. God. God. Go ahead. And with thee will I destroy kingdoms. And with us, he's going to destroy the kingdoms of these nations. Right? Uh. And they have no idea. Joe Osteen up there teaching, but he has no idea what he's reading. It's not his book, <laughs> right? Right. Right? He can't read these. You can't tell me he's reading no scriptures. Right? Uh. That's why he stays in John 3, 16 all day. Right? With no understanding. Right? <laughs> Right? Go ahead. That's the right thing. This is Mike. That's what I told you. She came over here and did it. All praises. 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 Why do the heat the You didn't see that, man, in that day. Now the white, because they gave us crack, crack epidemic. They tried uh -huh. to destroy us. Now the, so the Lord is destroying the white man. That's right. They all drugged out, walking yeah. up and down downtown Orlando. Right. right. Read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 30 and verse 7. Right now. And the Lord thy God will put all these curses upon thy enemies. So the Lord is going to reverse the curses. All the curses that happened to us in Deuteronomy 28, now he's going to put them on our enemies now. Come. Now they're going to go through the curses. So-called white man got to get ready to be in the ghettos and the swamps and the kingdom. Right? They're going to build us a big, pearly kingdom, right? With the streets made of gold, but then they're going to be in the hood, right? They're going to have an Edomite ghetto, right? Right! right. 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 In the kingdom of heaven. Right. Go ahead. And on them that hate thee. And on them that hate us, man. Because he hate us, man. Right. And he's mad that we standing up, man. Right? All right? He's mad that the word of the Lord is going forth, man. Right? You go rest right there. Right. Bring this up. Right. Micah 4, 13. This is Micah chapter 4, verse 13. Bring it out. Arise and thrust, O daughter of Zion. For will I make thy heart iron? Right. And I will make thy hoofs bread. Right. And thou shalt beat in pieces many people. Are you, are you, are you prepared for 
<laughs> Many people. Uh, and they beat us in pieces now. The Lord said we're going to beat them in pieces, right? So that's, what, that's the time we on, right? These are the things we're talking about in these lives. These are the things we pray for in these last days, right? All right? We pray for salvation, right? This is a part of your salvation. Do you think you're going to just get saved? The Lord just going to place you in the, in, the, in the grass and there's going to be flowers everywhere and the sun just always going to shine and everybody going to eat their peanut butter sandwiches, man, for eternity? No, man. Your salvation comes with you getting vengeance on your enemies, man. Give me Second Thought Thessalonians chapter 1 and verse uh, 6. I think yeah. that's what I want. Second Thought? Yeah, Second Thought Thessalonians 1 and 6. What do you have? All right, give me that first. Uh, Second Thessalonians 1 and 6. Done. The book of the book of um Second Thessalonians, chapter one. Is it one? And uh six. six. One and six. Bring it out. Well, see, it is a righteous thing. No, it's a wicked thing. It, it is, is a righteous, righteous thing. thing. No, so wrong with us. It, it is, is a righteous, righteous thing. thing. Is crazy. It, it is, is a righteous, righteous thing. thing. The Lord said it's a righteous thing. Read. With your hour to recompense tribulation to them that troubled you. And the Lord said it's a righteous huh. thing to recompense Man. trouble against those that yeah. trouble. Huh. To get payback, man. That's ain't that's no justice. Huh. Right? Are you in the white man courthouse and he has a justice system set up, man? All right? And when he, he give you a judgment and he judge you, right? He give you a life in prison, man. Right for a pound of weed. Huh. For your third strike. Right? Now you never get out of prison again. And they say that's justice. Right? Well, the Lord has a justice system, man. All right, so read that. And he has judgments for the so-called white man. This is all right. To 36, verse 11. Bring it out. Gather all the tribes of Jacob together. Uh-huh. And inherit thou them. And do what? And inherit thou them. So that's why we out here, brother. We out here to, to encourage our people, man. Right? Uh -huh. To gather us together, bro. Right? All right, go ahead. As from the beginning. Read. Oh, Lord, have mercy upon the people that is called by thy name. What? And upon Israel, whom thou hast named thy firstborn. Oh, be merciful unto Jerusalem, thy holy city, right. the place of thy rest. Go drop down to 16. Oh, Keep reading, bro. Fill Zion with thy unspeakable heart and thy people with thy glory. Give testimony unto those that thou hast possessed from the beginning and rise and raise up prophets that have been in and, thy and, name. And this is a prayer. Huh. All right. And a part of that prayer is to raise up prophets. Because in the Bible, though, there was a there was a time of silence God. when the way of truth was hidden in the earth. All right? When we thought from 70 AD, right, all the way up to the 1950s. All right, there was an old silence, right? When there was no prophets, the Lord wasn't speaking. All you had was the white man that had our books and the slaves on the plantation with the slave Bible. The only scriptures we could read, that was a slave Bible. You couldn't read the whole thing, right? We can sing our songs, right? We can speak in our language. You can speak the Hebrew. You get put to death. You see what I'm saying? And they taught you a doctrine. That's where you got religion and Christianity, right? But the Lord also prophesied in the last days that He would raise up His prophets. All those men are back in the earth, right? That's right, right. All the prophets you read about in the Bible, those men are in the earth doing the same thing again. Come right. right. Go ahead. Verse 16. Reward them. Then wait for thee. Read 15 again. 15. Give testimony unto those that how like, give testimony unto those that thou hast possessed from the beginning. And raise up prophets. And do what? And, and raise, raise up, up prophets. Because give me Amos 3 and 7. You know, why do prophets have to be raised up? There's a lot of prophecy in this, but it's a lot of things that was written in the Bible that the Lord said what happened, and it happened, right? Like us going into slavery. Right, our oppressor ruling over us. Those things happen. We can read about it. And there's also things that he said will happen that hasn't happened yet. Right? Read that. Come. The book of Amos chapter 3 and verse 7. Bring it Bring out. Surely the Lord will do nothing, but he revealeth his secrets to his servants. The prophet. So the Lord is not going to bring judgment. The Lord is not going to bring a prophecy to pass until he reveal, reveal the secrets and the mysteries to his servants, the prophets. All right? But they're not, they're, nobody's teaching what we teach them. Come. Everybody got the same Bible. All the pastors, the pastors are not teaching this. Right? Why? Because the Lord had to raise up prophets and reveal the secrets and the mysteries through the precepts, Come. through the Holy Spirit. And then they have to go and prophesy and warn the people. Right? And the Lord said the word, the word has to go out throughout all the world, and then the end is going to come. God. So the end couldn't come without the prophets. 
So that's why you have a, our forefathers praying that he raised up the prophets. Bring the prophets back. Right? And the prophets are back. Go ahead. Sure. Reward them that wait for thee. Right? And let thy prophets be found faithful. Read and do what? And, and let, let thy, thy prophets be found faithful. One more. Oh Lord, hear the prayer of thy servant. Uh -huh. According to the blessings of Aaron over thy people, that all they which dwell, dwell upon the earth may know that thou art the Lord, the eternal God. The belly devoured all meat, yet is one that. meat. That's it on that. So the Lord said, Look, we have to wake up our people, man, and get them in order, man. You know the commandments, King? You know how to get the kingdom of heaven? Give, give Matthew 19 16. Right, because the Lord is not going to save us just because you're an Israelite. The Lord is not coming back to save every so-called black man. Right, the Lord going to kill more, more of us than he's going to save. Right, right, right. 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 Read Zechariah 13 and 7. Bring that out. The book of Matthew, chapter 19, verse 16. Bring it out. You believe in the Messiah? You believe in Christ? All right, we call him Yahweh Shah. His real name. All right, go ahead. And behold, one came, one came and said unto him, Good master, what thing, was like, what good thing should I do? That I may have eternal life. So somebody's asking him, what I got to do to get the kingdom of heaven? What do I have to do for salvation? Read on. And he said unto him, why callest me, sorry, why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, that is God. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. What the Lord say? Keep, keep the, the commandments. commandments. You get the kingdom? Keep, keep the, the commandments. commandments. How you get the kingdom of heaven? Huh. <laughs> Ain't that simple? Is that hard? So why did they throw away the command? Why did they say, you know, all you got to do is believe on Jesus? When Jesus didn't say that, right? That's how we got enslaved. Because we broke the commandments. So the way you get out is start keeping the commandments. Right. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know the commandments, some commandments? Eat pork? We start with the simple commandment. Why don't you eat pork? Everybody else eat it, huh? You vegan? Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. No, you but got you got the lamb on the Passover. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right, on the Passover, once you start keeping the Passover, are you willing to eat the lamb on the Passover and then go back to your vegan after that? That's the lamb. I'll pray. Uh, you got to eat the lamb. Uh, got to eat the lamb. Got to eat the lamb. Yeah. All right, so that's good, man. But we don't eat it. You may not eat it because you're vegan, but yeah. we don't eat it because God said it's unclean and it's a sin. Uh, All right, so that's why you don't eat it because now you don't eat it because God said it, right? Uh, uh. Give me, the, give me the book of uh, Leviticus uh, 21. Give me Leviticus 19. Huh? Now you can drop that. Drop that. Right. Give me Numbers 15, 38. Okay, Leviticus what? Uh, 19, 16. The book of Leviticus, chapter 19, starting at 16. Bring it out. Thou shalt, thou shalt not go up and down as a tailbearer. Right? Amongst hey, our people. Said we're not supposed to go up and down and tell barrels amongst our people. Oh, we do that all the time, all day, right. every day. And it in society, man, if you in tune to this world and you watch TV, right, that's all it is. Backfighting, tail bearing, social media, uh. all these, these damn reality shows, all they doing is tail bearing, uh. talking about people behind their back, uh. right? That's, it's just gossip. That's a sin, uh. right? You don't want to be like that. You, you don't want to be the person somebody come telling you something about somebody else. And you got to stop it. Man. You uh -huh. don't want to hear that. You see what I'm saying? Don't be a tell -bear. You tell somebody telling somebody else, bit, revealing secrets. That's a sin. Nobody likes a tell -bear, a chatty pack. And you got grown men that do that. The Lord said that's a sin. We can't do that. Uh -huh. Yeah, slandering and slander, sowing discord amongst brethren. Uh -huh. This society is that's, that's what it's promoted. Right? And it's normal. Yeah, go ahead. This is Psalm chapter 101, verse 5. Bring it up. Whosoever privately slander his neighbor, mm. will I, him will I cut off. Him that have a high look and a proud heart will I not suffer. Right. And you, uh. So you can't slander your neighbor, right? Hey, that brother might have did something bad to you, right? Hey, the Lord said you can't, you can't slander that, brother. Uh. You see what I'm saying? You got to forgive that, brother. And we're going to read that. Go ahead. Neither shalt thou stand against the blood of thy neighbor. Neither shall you stand against the blood of your neighbor, man. You shouldn't cause your brother to get put to death, and you shouldn't watch your brother get put to death. Uh -huh. 
see what I'm saying? That's a sin, right? You're supposed to put, be with, hey, Christ died for us. Done. Right? And that's love. You're supposed to be willing to die for your brother. Right? And if you're willing to die for your brother, you want to watch him get put to death. Uh -huh. You want to let him do something that's going to cause him to get put to death. Right? You know, the brother talking about sleeping with somebody white. And that kid, you standing against the, he go sleep with that man white, and then you watch on the news, and the man that came home, man, shot him in the back. Right? Uh -huh. On your head. Yeah, that blood on your hand. Uh. Like if he told you, like, yeah, bro, go, yeah. Right, Mr. Steal Your Girl, man. <laughs> right? <laughs> That's off, brother. We can't do that no more. Uh. Right? Go ahead. I am the Lord. Thou shalt not hate the brother in thy heart. Right? You can't hate your brother in your heart. Right? We got to love each other again as men. Right? Go ahead. Thou shalt in any wise. Rebuke thy neighbor. And you're supposed to, you got to rebuke your brother. Huh. You got to correct him. If you see a brother that's doing something wrong, breaking a commandment, and you know he's doing it wrong, you have to say something. Mm -hmm. I don't mean you got to disrespect him, right? But you got to let him know. Hey, brother, right here, the Lord said, you know I'm saying, pull the priest up out. Hey, you can't do that. That's a sin. You got to repent, right? Go ahead. That's what we come out here and do. All right? We keeping the commandment by coming out here and showing our people love, by giving them the truth. Read right? Done. And, and not suffer sin upon him. Because if you don't, then you suffer sin upon your brother, right? Right? Go ahead. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. You can't bear a grudge against it. The point is the children of thy people. Done. Right? You understand that? The Israelites, the so-called black man in America is your, is your people, also the Hispanics and Latinos, and Native American Indians of indigenous descent. All right, of those people. All right, and we're not telling you, you know what I mean, to go slap around, you know, to other nations. But what we're just saying is, you got to love your people. You definitely got to do that. Come. All right, go ahead. But thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. You heard that commandment before, right? Who is your neighbor? Your people. Come. All right, that's playing the part that's, right, so that's a simple commandment that we break every day. So now we got to start keeping that commandment. All right? The Lord has given us a second chance before this second death. That's grace and mercy, right? All right? Allowing us to be able to come back and under look at this thing from another perspective. All right? And get a second chance to really learn this thing and understand it. All right? Let me uh, bring this up. This is Numbers chapter 15, verse 38. Bring it out. Speak unto the children of Israel. To everybody. Speak unto, unto, unto the children, children of Israel. Israel. You Israelite? Yeah, so I'm just talking to you, right? Huh. All right, so now when you read the Bible, it's personal now. Now you know the Lord talking to me, right? Speaking to the children of Israel, and we talking to the Israelites, read. Really? And bid them that they make them fringes. But now we got a bid, it's a commandment. It's huh. a commandment for you to keep the commandments. It's a commandment for us to bid, right? We got to come out here and show you this commandment. And bid them, read. Really? And the borders of their garden. And, and bid them what? And bid them, and the, and bid them that they make them fringes. fringes. And the borders of their garments. So all these brothers got fringes on. Now you know about the fringes. You saw the fringes, right? This is why we wear the fringes. Because the commandment said we have to put fringes on the borders of our garments. Right. Go ahead. Throughout your generation. Throughout their generation. So we still generating? We still generating? Making babies dead. So should we still do this? Yeah, the Lord said throughout our generation. Go ahead. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders. A ribbon of blue. Yeah, so we got the brothers got the ribbon of blue on here. So we learning how to follow instructions. All right, go ahead. And it shall be upon you for a fringe, right? That ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments. Just some of the commandments. Remember, remember all, all the commandments. commandments. That's the ones we want to do. Remember, remember all, all the commandments, commandments of the Lord and do them. Now just talk about it. And, and do, do them. them. Read about it. And, and do, do them. them. Do them. So these, the Lord gave us this as a reminder, all right, to keep the commandments. All right, you going to get you some fringes? Yeah, I'll get you some fringes. Put some fringes. I'll praise you. I'll praise you. I'll praise you. These are just simple commandments just to start with. It's a lot of commandments, but you're willing to do the things that you can do, the simple things, right? And that's a beautiful thing, right? All right, give me Zephaniah 2 and 1. Zephaniah 2 and 1. Let's get another commandment. Right? Okay. The book of Zephaniah, chapter 2 and verse 1. Bring it out. Gather yourselves together. Yea, gather together, O nation, not desire. Another commandment is to congregate. You have to gather together with your people. 
That's the only reason these brothers out here in the cold. Done. Ain't no other reason. Brother be at home doing something else. Right. <laughs> we doing this because we fear the most high. God. Right? Uh -huh. We want the kingdom. All right? We want to participate in, in all these beautiful judgments that the Lord has. Right. That's why brothers changed their lives, man, and gave their lives to the most high, man. Uh -huh. And we make our bodies a living sacrifice. We literally do it. Christians That's right. talk about it. But we literally <laughs> make our bodies a living sacrifice, man. All right, for the most high. So you got to gather together with your people, right? All right. Now give me um, Acts three and nineteen. Huh? Yeah, yeah. You know about the Sabbath day? I think you know about. It. You know about the Sabbath day, right? I don't know that much. Okay, okay. Get, get Exodus twenty and uh, oh, you can get that. Exodus. The book of Exodus chapter thirty-five and verse two. Bring it out. Six days shall work be done, but on the seventh day uh -huh. there shall be to you an holy day. A Sabbath of rest. A what? A, a Sabbath, Sabbath of rest. rest. So we got to keep the Sabbath day. The Sabbath day is the seventh day. All right? What day is the seventh day? Sunday, Sunday right? No. Sunday not the seventh day. Sunday is the first. And you know it's not the seventh day. The only way, only reason you're saying that is because this, is, this society, people go to church on Sunday. Uh -huh. See what I'm saying? But when you look on the calendar, Sunday is the first day. Uh -huh. Right? You go Sunday. Mm -hmm. Saturday. Saturday. So the seventh day would be what? The Sabbath. Saturday. Saturday. Right? That's why it's called the Shabbat. Uh, Alright? Uh, Not Shabbat Sunday. Day. We learned that in slavery. Uh, Alright? We learned that from our own person. Alright? So read on. Sabbath of rest unto the Lord. Whosoever doeth work therein shall be put to death. death. So that's no doing no servile work on the Sabbath day. Uh, Alright? Now some brothers. You know, have jobs, and sometimes they have to work on the Sabbath. You know, that's where your grace covers you at because you're not willful. You know, if you can, if you gotta work on the Sabbath day, try to find a job and ask the Most High to show you mercy and give you a job where you don't. Or maybe a job will let you off. Huh. And I've written letters and gave brothers um, forms to turn into their jobs where they was, you know, able to get off of work for a so-called religious purpose, reason huh. to practice. But you want to keep the Sabbath day and not work on that day to the best of your ability. That's right. All right? You understand that? And you got six days to do everything else. Get Nehemiah 10 to 31. Yeah. Ye shall, it's like it. Ye shall kindle no fire throughout your habitation upon the Sabbath day. Right? And he says you can't kindle a fire on the Sabbath day. All right? You understand that? So we don't cook on the Sabbath day. All right? But we prepare our food. You know what I'm saying? Make sandwiches. Our brothers eat fruit, right? You know, make a bowl of cereal, right? You a vegan, you, you know what I mean? You don't really, you know, you know how to do it. You feel me? We do that on the Sabbath day. And another thing, bring this out. Uh, no, Nehemiah. All right, Book of Nehemiah, chapter 10 and verse 31. Bring it out. And if the people of the land bring work or any victuals on the Sabbath day to sell. Like, like they do in America. In America, you get paid on Friday. Why do you think you get paid on Friday? So you can break the Sabbath day. Uh -huh. Because Publix is open on the Sabbath day, right? You know, on Saturday, you can go to Publix, you can go to McDonald's, you can pay a bill. Everything is open. That's big business. This society makes most of that money on Friday and Saturday. The Sabbat comes in Friday when the sun goes down, and it just ended today when the sun went down. Now we can go buy something. Right? Uh -huh. Hey, brothers went to the store, man, kind of, you know, did what they had to do. But during the Sabbath day, we're not going to buy from them just because they opened their store. Uh -huh. Why? Because we want to serve the Lord. We want to please the Most High. We want to stop doing the things that we were doing and start doing things pleasing to the Most High God. Right. So now once we learn and hear the word, now we stop buying on the Sabbath day. Because the Lord is not asking much of us. He gave you a day of rest. Right? Go ahead. Uh -huh. Well, a bitch was on the Sabbath day to sell that we would not buy of them on the Sabbath day or on the, it's like it, or on the holy days. So we don't buy and sell on the Sabbath days or the high holy days. Huh. You see what I'm saying? So the Sabbath day is a day of rest. You can rest, you can read, right? You, you're supposed to congregate too. It's a, it's a holy congregation. So you congregate with your people, right? You don't buy, you don't sell, you don't cook, all right? And we, you from here? Okay. Jacksonville? Okay, okay. Well, we out here every Friday and Saturday. You can come up when you can, congregate with us. All right? So that's how you keep the Sabbath day. 
Uh, right? No doing your own pleasures, no personal pleasures. Don't go play basketball on a Sabbath day. No, wait till Sunday. Don't go to the gym on a Sabbath day. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, you can go Saturday evening. You go Sunday morning. Right? You got six days to do all that. That's all the Lord is saying. All right? Yeah, I'm not here. Acts, Acts chapter 3, verse 19. Bring it up. Repent ye therefore and be converted. So now we got to repent because we broke all these commandments. All right. I hadn't always kept the Sabbath day. I used to break the Sabbath day. But now I have to repent. If you say you believe in Yahweh Shah or Christ, you're going to repent. You want to honor. All right? You want to honor him. He died for you so you can repent. All right? Not to continue in sin. Because what is, you know what sin is? Huh? What's sin? Breaking the commandments. Breaking right. the commandments, right? So repentance is turning from breaking the commandments. So now you got to start keeping the commandments. If you don't start to keep the commandments at some point, you're always going to be in sin. Right. You see what I'm saying? So now we got to repent. Go ahead. That their sins may be blotted out. That Because to get salvation, your sins have to be blotted out. Right? So we got to be we got to be found blameless without blemish. Not that you're not going to never sin again, but those sins, the Lord has, to, that blood of Christ has to cover you for those sins and blot it out. And he's not going to do that for willful sinners. Oh, you see what I'm saying? So you have to put forth the action and the effort to try to keep the commandments. Give me Psalms uh, uh, 119. You know how to repent? Get, get Psalms uh, 51. Give me Psalms 32 and 5. Huh? The book of Psalms, chapter 32. At verse 5. Bring it out. I acknowledge, it's like it. I acknowledge my sins unto thee. So repent is the first step is acknowledging. Right? How do you acknowledge your sins? You have to acknowledge that I got to keep the commandments, keep the law. You know, so you acknowledge your sins. Go ahead. And my iniquities have I not hid. Uh huh. I said, I will confess my transgressions unto the Lord. So you have to confess your sins before the Most High. You have to open your mouth and mention those sins and ask the Lord to forgive you from them, right? You can't just say, well, you can't just stop doing it, but you don't ever go to the Lord and ask them to forgive you. You see what I'm saying? Go ahead. And thou forgavest the iniquity of my sins. It's a lot. And thou forgavest the iniquity of my sins. It's a lot. See how easy that is? And the Lord will forgive you for your sins. Huh? Yes, he will. That's easy, right? That's all you got to do. So now you got to start keeping the commandments, and as you start keeping those simple commandments, keeping the Sabbath day, once you get your fringes, right, and you start to learn, and you start reading and studying, start learning more commandments, huh. right, and the Lord put it in your spirit to start keeping other commandments. Huh. Certain things you're struggling with, you seek the right, you learn how to fast and pray, and the Lord will begin to deliver you and strengthen you, right, huh. and increase your knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, right? Give me Sirach 5 and 7. Give me Sirach 5 and 7. The book of Sirach, chapter 5 and verse 7. Bring it out. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord. You know what that means? Make no tarrying. I Meaning don't drag your feet. God. Right? Don't hear this truth. Don't find out you're an Israelite. And then you kind of go back, you know, about your business, dragging your feet. I'll get my friends just later. I'll wait to get my friends. Y'all got to get my friends. Right? Don't wait till the damn message come in, to all the stores closed and the famine. There ain't no gas. Everything closed down. And everybody in the street, now you're looking for some friends. Right? Go ahead. Come. And put not off from day to day. Yeah, don't put off from day to day, man. You got to you gotta get into this thing now, man. Tomorrow, not promise, man. Right. And you got to walk in the fear of the Lord. Go ahead. For suddenly shall the wrath of Yahweh come forth. Shall the wrath of the Lord come forth suddenly, huh? Now, a lot of people die every day, man, in car wrecks. You know what I mean? Unexpectedly. You know what I mean? At the wrong place at the wrong time, right? Uh -huh. That can happen to us. And you don't want to die in your sins after you heard the truth, right? Go ahead. And in thy security, thou shalt be destroyed. And in thy security, thou shalt be destroyed. So we teach repentance, all right, to the Israelites, <clears throat> to repent, return to the Lord, coupled with the faith. You got to have faith in the Lord. You can keep all the commandments. You don't have faith in the Messiah that is going to save you. He's not going to save you. So you got to keep the commandments and you got to have faith. They go hand in hand. All right, if you do that, the most I'm going to say, right? Or will it, right? Give me um, Isaiah 35 and 4. Give me Revelation 18 21. You got any qu questions? Any more questions? Okay, okay. Read this out. Isaiah what? Isaiah 35 and 4. The 
book up. The book up. You got any questions, King? Not right now. Not right now. Okay. The book of Isaiah, chapter 35, and verse 4. Yeah. Say to them that are of a fearful heart, be strong. What the Lord say? Be, be strong. strong. Be feminine. Be, be strong. strong. Be weak. Be, be strong. strong. The Lord said we got to be strong. Go ahead. Fear not. Behold, your God will come with vengeance. What the Lord say? Your God will, will come, come with vengeance. vengeance. And even God with the recompense. Go ahead. He will come. He will come and save you. Now he's going to leave us in Babylon. He, he will come, come and, and save, save you. you. He will continue to let the white man reign over he you. He will come, come and save you. The Lord said he's going to come and save us, man. Right? And we believe that, man. Right? Go ahead, bring us up. Revelation chapter 18, verse 21. Bring it out. And a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and cast it into the sea, saying, That's with violence. That's with violence. That's with violence. That's with violence. That's with peace. That's with violence. 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 Shall that great city Babylon be thrown down. Uh-huh. And shall be found no more at all. What's going to happen to America? She shall, shall be, be found, found no, no more, more at all. She shall be found no more at all. So with that, we give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bar Hashem. Yahweh Shem. Come here, Shirella. 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 Come here